We're here with uh, Johnny Marr for Being About Your Film, To Live, To Sing. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the film? Give us an idea. About the film? film? About the film. <laughs> about the film, okay. You can talk about other films as one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this film. yeah. Uh, yeah, no. The this uh, the film is about a, uh, a an opera troupe in China um, faced with the, the demolition of the theater, and they have to sort of find a, a new place or to somehow save this place before this uh, opera troupe family kind of falls apart. Yeah. That's quite an interesting premise. So, how did that come about? Um, yeah, the origin of the film is really it's kind of a little bit more complicated. I mean, I got hired. Uh, to adapt a documentary into a TV show for two very famous actors in China. And um, that was an, a, doc, a very small documentary based on the daily life of this opera troupe, you know, that, that you see in my movie. And um, so while I was adapting it, on a research trip, I went to visit them and I ended up staying with them for two months, uh, uh, two weeks. And yeah, I mean, it became very clear to me even the, from the first moment that this would be a better movie if it was made with them, you know, than with actors from Beijing. So, you know, I finished the work, I handed off the script, and when they did nothing with the project, because, you know, famous people are very busy, um, the project, uh, I asked for the rights back, and, and that's when I decided, okay, let's really, really hone, hunger down, because, um, you know, if we don't make this film now, there's always a danger that this these people, they would disappear very quickly. You know. So this is your second film? This is my second film. How did you find the process this time? Um, I don't think it ever will get easy. You know, there, it's always new challenges. Just when you think that you figure things out, um, you know, m more challenges come at you. And, and so it, making a film, it really is a, you know, it's, it has to be a battle of, of, um, of a, you know, kind of a, <laughs> it's a journey, really. And, um, <laughs> it feels like somebody's tap dancing back there. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry, no, 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 it's all good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, I don't know. I think that if it ever gets to be the same or like similar, then I would lose my passion for it. Because I guess that's why we do what we do. Because it really feels like, I mean, at least for me, I, I, I it feels like it's a, it's a, um, you know, it's a rebirth. It's like a, yeah, it's like a, you know, like I, I just finished this journey and this whole time, as I'm traveling around, I'm healing from the experience, healing from this trauma of making this film. <laughs> you know, so that's how <laughs> I feel about hopefully it. Hopefully, not too traumatic. So no, it is traumatic. It's, it has to so? be. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. If it's not traumatic, then. Um, but also, you know, I guess if it's not traumatic, I mean, if it's always like this, I wonder if I would live past fifty. You know, um, so it has to get somehow. Somehow has to. Something has to change. I think. In your process. Yeah. <laughs> in my process. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, sure yes. maybe, maybe. So yes. are you quite selective in the films that you've chosen to direct, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean... It has to be important to you, the subject matter, for you to be passionate about? Yeah, I, I, before I even write anything down on paper, you know, it kind of sits in my stomach for about three months because I know that the moment that I put pen to, to, to paper, this is probably going to be like a two to five years of my life, you know, and you know, and of my friends' lives, you know, and I'm going to ask them because I'm going to ask them to help me. And it's also of the people who are going to be putting money into this. You know, this is going to be, you know, making film is not cheap. It's probably the most expensive kind of thing that you can, you can do on, on a, you know, these personal sort of journeys. And um, so you have to really believe in your own bullshit, you know, in some way, because if I don't believe it, I mean, I'm going to have to pitch this film probably 10,000 times before I even get it made. So that I have to take that responsibility. So it has to be important, of course, you know? Like, I don't know, I don't really understand about those silly comedies that get made that, that like nobody remembers the next year because I don't, like, if it just becomes a nine to five job, I don't really understand those filmmakers who obviously went a complete different path than, than the norm of the nine to five jobs just to go get another job, you know? Like, that, it, that is, seems to be doing, uh, like, you know, another Coca-Cola commercial or something, I don't know. Is this bad that I'm saying this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. No. I'm just telling the truth. No, you yeah. are. I'm yeah. shooting from the hip, yeah. Um, it's obviously challenging to get any film made, yes. but was it particularly challenging given the subject matter um, on a commercial level? To well, see? I think making, let's say, let's say the place, China, you know, the, uh, this film was shot in China. And this is my second feature film in China. And it is really, I, I really do believe that 
it's probably one of the hardest place to make a film because you're so alone as an independent filmmaker. You know, I, I, I feel like people really think that I have leprosy, you know, when I tell them I'm an independent filmmaker in China because they just don't understand it. They don't, they don't understand why I would do, and, you know, when everything else is so, like, lucrative, you know, in TV or that I don't do anything that's just easy money. Why, why I do this thing that, you know, in their mind is, is not a com commercial film or something, you know, so... Um, yeah, so I think that loneliness is, makes it hard. And of course, you know, these days in China, anything is hard because of the, you know, we, we have to deal with the censorship process and that's not an easy process. So it is 10 times harder than anywhere else in the world. I, I, I feel, I mean, I'm, I might take that back in a certain countries, but it's pretty damn hard, yeah. Do you hope in the future to be able to work outside of China? Um, you, you know, I, I grew up in China till I was 10 and, I, and then I was in Canada and since 22 I never lived in Canada or worked in Canada really so for me you know I never saw myself as a Chinese filmmaker or a Canadian filmmaker I just happened to make two movies in China and it's very easy to categorize somebody based on what they have done you know but my stories are a, a, you know, I, 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 of course, I, I want to make films in it everywhere else because I'm only tapping into a, a small percentage of, of my stories, you know. So, um, yeah, and, you know, I, I started something with, with in China with, and now I have a family in terms of my filmmaking family. And, you know, it's, it's not easy there. But at some point, I do, I do, you know, I do want to be able to tell stories all over the world because... I think to be able to go on a journey and an adventure with people that you don't know that, but but you grow to learn about their world and the culture and and make a film that's as honestly as as you can do it. You know, I try to work as harder or even harder than any local filmmaker because in China I'm still an outsider. So um, I guess if I can do that, then then that would maybe I'll live past fifty. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's hope so. So what's coming up for you at the moment? Um, I'm moving to the jungle in Mexico, so I fell in love with a woman with two kids. So I loved it. So, so I'm so I'm throwing it all away. I'm going to move in Mexico, you know. So that's that's, what, that's a very the, different market than if you're going to be working. You're going to be just living in Mexico, working in Mexico, or you're not sure. No, yet. I'm just going to be living the love, living the love in Mexico. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, okay, thank, thank you. you very much for okay, your time. Thank you thank very you. much. Yeah.